Hello, it is Sarah Waggle. It's day eight of the Aquarius experiment and it's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's also 2024, so that means it's an eight year. So we have an 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight situation. You maybe see 11-11 pop up on your clock or 12-12 or maybe even 12-34. What does it all mean? Okay, so it's the basics of synchronicities. Um, I say basics and it doesn't mean to dis discount them or demean them, it's just that it's basic. So when you kind of get into spiritual work and spiritual practices, you start noticing little, what seemingly coincidental things like 1111 or 1212 on your clock, or you notice the date is 88. Um, and so they're kind of just basic synchronicities and you can kind of make synchronicities your own. Um, now there are plenty of, you know, paying attention to little things like 1111, 222, 333. And yes, there are numerological definitions for different numbers and different number sequences. Um, you can look those up on the internet. I am not a numerologist. Um, However, 1111 is the most basic because it's it's known as an angel number. Um, it's known as, uh, it's sort of like a, I think it's more like the, the like make a wish or something like that. I tend to just look at synchronous, the numerical synchronicities as, oh, somebody's watching me. Oh, I'm protected. Oh, what was I just thinking about in that moment that, you know, right before I saw it or what was I thinking about right after I saw it? Um, sometimes it can be confirmation for me, um, but I am not a 888-333. I'm not that numerology person. I'm actually 1234 or 1221. So I do chronologicals or palindromes. That's why I mean you can make this your own. Um, and so synchronicities is something that you notice that shows up and it's kind of a uh, asking the universe show me that you're here it's a it's a basic way of of noticing when the universe is there is 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 with you your guardian angels your 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 guardian team is is there to support you is there to watch over you um etc uh again it can be confirmation um, maybe you thought of doing uh, a new podcast or a new video series and then you just kind of pay attention to little a little tiny alignments um, or a little tiny, like I said, seemingly coincidental. I don't believe in coincidences. Everything happens for a reason, in my opinion, um, type of things. Now, today happens to be 8-8. Eight, eight. It's also 2024, so it's 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. Now, there's a lot of um, content out there about this being a Lionsgate portal. I do not subscribe to that, but if you do and it resonates for you, have at it. Um, it doesn't resonate because they try to connect it to astrology and it doesn't add up with the astrology from my observation of charts. So, but anyway, 8-8 eight, eight is still a powerful day because 8 is infinity. Um, and so you can, and it also, it lands in Leo season. Leo is, um, all about, you know, having the courage, the strength of a lion when the sun is in Leo, the earth is in Aquarius. So having the courage and the strength to be your unique self. Um, so those sorts of things. So I don't want to discount eight, eight, but the whole lion's gate portal, um, sort of thing doesn't resonate with me. So anyway but other synchronicities can show up you could be thinking about or feeling into and i always often say feeling because i want to feel it in my body i talked about feeling in your gut yesterday but i want to feel it in my body if it feels good in my body i feel relaxed my jaw loosens up my shoulders feel relaxed my gut feels relaxed that's how i feel things through my body and so um, when you're feeling through an opportunity or feeling through, should I travel there? Should I create that blog? Should I create that podcast? You'll notice little things show up that will say, yes, yes, you should. You will also notice things that seem crunchy or that seem like they're challenging to um, navigate. And that's kind of a no or a hold on maybe later type of thing. Um, as I said, when we were talking about setting intentions, you can set an intention every new moon or every first of the month 
doesn't mean it's going to manifest or come into fruition during that 28 days, that 30 days. It may be 30, 60, 90 days. It also could be a year or five or 10 years from the moment that you set the intention. It depends on where the universe feels like you need to do some growth um, or release or letting go before that intention is ready to be a part of your um, a part of your being, a part of your life. And so never give up on an intention. Um, if you feel like it's something that you really want and you will notice intentions drop off, like some things will just be like, nope, I'm, that one doesn't serve me anymore. Um, it sounded good at the moment, uh, but later on you look at, look back at it like, nope, that, that's not it. And there are other intentions that you look at them all the time. You can speak them out loud. I want to write a book. Uh, I want to publish a book like those sorts of, you know, those might stick with you over time. Um, and you continue to notice little opportunities to take time to write. You may notice little opportunities to practice public speaking or something like that. So you'll notice these little things. That's the universe nudging you. It's still there for you. It's still an opportunity for you. And number um, synchronicities is no exception. Um, you may be going through something and you notice 1111 or 1234 throughout like a rough day. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm protected. My angels are watching me. Um, my spirit team is guiding me to something. Maybe you were thinking about something and all, you know, your spirit team shows up and pings you with something. Um, you know, however that shows up for you. So anyway, I hope this shed a little bit of light on the basics of synchronicities. It is a topic that we could dive down rabbit holes about. Um, I've had various conversations about them. And uh, yeah, so I hope you appreciate this. If you're watching this on YouTube, my typical links are below. You can drop a comment below. And same thing on TikTok. The links are in my bio and you can drop a comment with any questions or um, thoughts below. Thanks for tuning in. This was day eight of the Aquarius experiment.